Hey, me, Grandpa. Like what you see? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe then. Please touch my furs. Hello, hello everyone. This is Halion and this is Pika Yune Dreams. Is that how you say it? Pika Yune, Pika Yune. It's one of those, but this is actually a really interesting game that I knew I had to show y'all. So we're gonna start a run right away, hop into it. So this is sort of, you know, a little vampire survivory here. Uh, you get to pick your zone. I don't know the big difference, especially for two that look so similar here. I'm not really certain. But you have our health here. That's the 100%. We have our, I don't know, I guess you'd call it ultimate. You know, maybe just bomb, you might call it. Also, you'll see that in action. So we have three of those right now. You can get them back. You shoot the enemy. It does auto shoot. I do not have to click anything, but I am aiming with the mouse, playing with the keyboard currently, but it does work with controller right now. This is a free demo on Steam as of this moment. And this is where the game gets really interesting, and I'm going to acknowledge that it's definitely not for everyone for very particular reasons. But this is a free demo right now uh, that just got released today. Or, or sorry, as of the recording of this today, at least. Okay, so, you know, you kill the enemies, you collect the XP, which are the numbers on the ground that they drop, and you get to choose an upgrade. But here's the thing. The upgrade is described in a programming language. Um, if you know some basics about programming languages, you can probably get an idea of what each upgrade does. Probably? Um, luckily, I've played a couple runs, so I kind of vaguely know what they do just based on uh, choosing things before. Angel Wings, I think it's trying to say, if you stand still for a while, you deal more damage? but I'm not really 100% certain on that. Um, this one, I believe, just you get an extra bullet, essentially. And you can see there's a version variable in there because you can upgrade these, but when it says alpha, it basically means that's the first version of it that you can get. This gives you more health. I don't 100% understand it, but basically I think it just it's a very, very minor heal if I were to guess. Anyway, let's take the Ultra Buster here. So we kind of just get an extra bullet for now, but I think it deals a lot more damage. You shoot the enemies. There is Space Debris uh, that you can find here that will drop uh, different kind of small upgrades. That one just had experience, I think. You have magnets that uh, collect all the experience for you. It can refill your uh, one of your bomb moves. It can... What else is in there? I think health can be in there, but I'm actually not 100% on that. We definitely do that, but this is the upgrade screen again. Okay, so we got angel wings. I don't think I want to do that. They want you to stand still for it, I think. I mean, it says if moving equals false. <laughs> and then I think there's sort of a countdown or something. Chain belt, so it hashtag every frame. It's not really hashtag. I assume that's a comment, it means. So every frame. Oh my God. This one I haven't, I don't think I've taken it. Okay, angle plus equals six. So the size goes up with the version. The damage goes up with the version. Uh, we can try it. C4, I think this means when an enemy dies, uh, a little explosion is created. I think. I'm pretty sure that's what this means. So enemies explode. Let's try the chain belt. I don't know if we'll really be able to see it. Is that that thing just like swirling around us now? Oh, I think it is. Okay, I don't love it. If it gets a lot bigger, what's the floppy disk do, I wonder? I actually don't know. I've only done two runs. It's pretty challenging. Oh, you get an immediate level. Okay. Won't complain about that. Projectiles. Okay, that one's easy. I can understand that one. Projectile speed plus 0 0.05. Uh, I don't really want the IV bag. This one is... You get a laser weapon. Every frame. Looks like it just follows your mouse around. Damage goes up and the size of it, if I can understand that correctly, might go up too with every version. Let's try that. Okay, yeah, I've had this one. Low damage, but continuous. Ah, I can't get out. Took a couple hits there. 
But it does pierce enemies, which could be interesting. So maybe we try to level that up a bunch or something. But yeah, this game kind of reminded me of some of those old freeware games you might get in the mid to late 2000s, I'd say. Off of random websites and uh, like the style, the music and everything. It definitely has that. I don't know. Someone's, someone says like Toho, Toho. I'm not certain how you say it. Weapon size plus 5%. This is a shield, and if I understand it correctly... If I understand it, it, it has like a 60 second cooldown? I think. What's the battery do? Projectile speed plus 5%. Definitely not projectile speed. Weapon size could be interesting with the laser, maybe? I'm not certain if it'd be interesting with anything else, though. It's only 5%. It seems low. Let's take this. So I think you soak one hit with this, I'm pretty sure. I know, it, it might seem like counterintuitive. Why would they make it this way? Why not just give it an actual description? Maybe it's lazy. I actually found it kind of charming. I do have a small background with programming. I mean, I studied it in college for a couple of years, got an associate's degree, then, then it was dead in the water after that. <laughs> I don't remember a lot. This was... Okay, I think it's time to use our... Super here. The did you watch watch do minus three percent cooldown. That worked well with the laser though. Movement mod plus three percent. Three percent is just so little, is it not? Or we can upgrade the ultra buster. So what do we get for each version here? If I can understand it correctly. If the shots fired greater than the version. I think it kind of vaguely reduces the cooldown and or just increases the number of bullets. If I'm understanding it correctly. Something along those lines. I did study it. I proceeded to do nothing with the degree because it was just turned out to be too difficult to find, a, find something relevant with my associate's degree at the time. Uh, back then, there were like three and a half programming languages that you could study. And that was C++, Java, and uh, C++, Java, Visual Basic, which I guess isn't dead, but I do tease it a little bit because it felt like it was kind of out of date back then even. Uh, what was the last one? And the half was Flash. Now, hold on. That isn't a dig at Flash. It's more so that I think we didn't learn that much about the actual language and more so how to use it, if I remember correctly. Like, I think it was meant to be a game making class and we didn't learn that much in terms of programming languages the actual programming language itself it felt like more like using the software around flash anyway so this is a new weapon parasite god can i figure out what this does this one seems advanced for me why do i get the feeling it might fall around our map no it says nearest enemy this is like a whip weapon, essentially. I would compare this to the whip in Vampire Survivors. Let's try the Parasite, because I haven't tried it yet. I see it's on an enemy, and then it bounces to another enemy after that. Might be good for bosses, because it, it seemed like it, was a, it dealt a lot of damage. If the numbers were accurate. It doesn't trigger very often. Now, the numbers we pick up that's XP, I think there's some... There are ways to kind of... I'm not really certain how this works, but if you deal a lot of damage, like chunky damage, you might get more XP because of that. Something along those lines. Parasite 2.0. Can I figure out what the additional version does exactly here? Hmm. Every frame it says... I'm trying to, I'm looking for the keyword version, but I actually don't see it. Right? Like, I don't see how this scales the version, unless they just couldn't fit it in the description here. So I'm not really certain. Let's level up anyway. Maybe you get a second. Oh, you do get a second one. Okay, it's pretty straightforward then, I guess, now. All right, so there is meta progression in this game anyway. Um, it's, it's interesting meta progression too. It's not just, you know, 
plus damage, plus health here and there and stuff like that. I would actually call the, the upgrades that you can pick from very interesting, but I'll try to show that at the end of the run. Okay, run away. Man, I can't kill anything. I'm trying to kill this big guy because I think it's supposed to drop health. Plus the halo there. Looks like I got it, but it didn't drop anything. Can I get this now too, finally? Thank you. But I, I don't even know how much this game will cost. Just a demo for now for me. Ultra Buster level three. Let's go for that. Uh, I'm gonna assume it's gonna be PC only at least for a while. Probably know it's early access too, but I, there are bosses in the game which were really interesting and I thought that was a great addition to what is kind of a formula for these games lately. I think having a uh, set bosses that have an interesting ah, pattern uh, actually helps out a lot with the variety of it. I can't tell if it's time based or enemy based with We'll have to keep an eye. When it says transmission incoming, that means it's boss time. You have to finish off all the enemies on the screen, though. But yeah, the, you know what the, like, the music also kind of reminds me of is uh, like back in the day, like those those DDR songs or Step Mania songs that you'd find all over the place that were just like super hectic. Let's see. So we can upgrade three things. The Halo... Or the hit. The core is actually the default weapon. So you'd get an extra bullet for every core upgrade is what this is. But it always deals the same damage. So I'm kind of curious if that's really worth it. Why don't we try the laser? So the angle... No, sorry. The damage scales with the version. And the Y scale? The image Y scale scales with it. Okay, it's a little bit wider. I don't know how useful that is, but... Alright, there's some health over there. No, let's just use this, because we had three, I guess. So the damage on the laser is low, but it, it, does, it pierces, and it... Uh, and it hits, like, every frame, so... Can't be that bad, I kind of figure. I don't... I can't really tell what's broken, what's, what's good, what's bad yet. I didn't love the chain belt. It does get bigger with each version, though. But then I have to ask myself, would I rather just keep upgrading the Ultra Buster instead? I'm going to go Chain here. Because this game gets uh, pretty out of control quickly, and you get surrounded very often, even starting as soon as level 2. All right, here's our boss. This is all new dialogue to me. And I kind of thought these animations were really cute as well. The bots usually spawns from above. That. Okay. Now it kind of turns into a bullet hell for the duration of the boss. Ah, for some reason I just couldn't dodge that. Come on. Uh. Hope those parasites are doing a lot of work for us here. Whoa. Forgive me if I have to concentrate. And forgive me if you hear my keys clacking a lot. I am playing on keyboard. For some reason, I just was drawn to it for this one. No particular reason why, I think. Controller obviously would have been fine. Okay. Oh, boy. All right, all right. For some reason, when the first time I saw this boss fight, whew, there we go. I stood on the outside of that ring and tried to very hectically avoid stuff, which made no sense. You just hug the inside, you're good. All right, boss down, and we did very well, I'd say. I think these, so you can see there's like skulls and this one's like red and stuff. So why don't we try, it might mean this run ends much sooner. But why don't we try to do the challenge or whatever? Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and use that immediately. All right, what do we got? Ultra Buster level four, the whippy thing. Slime spike, exactly. Some kind of weapon. Knockback. The number is equal to, so how many you throw is equal to the version, it sounds. 
And then I don't know what's going on beyond that, below that. <laughs> Might be piercing. Why don't we see what it looks like? Oh, okay, that is not what I expected. <laughs> that is definitely not what I expected. Oh, so enemies have like a death rattle. Okay, that's not too bad, I would think. I That doesn't seem horrible. I think we can deal with that, I hope. We have two bombs. We gotta get these crates open. Oh my gosh, I can't see. You can see it's already getting much, much more hectic than it was earlier. So the difficulty ramps can ramp up quite quickly. All right, we got a magnet, beautiful. Like those. Let's see. Let's upgrade the laser again. Big laser damage. I mean, it's just a big increase overall. It's hard to measure how well each thing is doing, though. But, I mean, going from one damage to two damage is a 100% increase. Two damage to three, three damage, that's a 50% increase. So it's still, like, a lot, you know? Okay... What's this big ring around us exactly? I'm actually not positive. I do not know if there's anything... Hey, we got the uh, laser again. I don't know if there's anything really... Sort of like, you know, what we find in these games evolutions yet. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. But I just love the theming and the aesthetic that the game had overall. Okay, let's get this asteroid. We got nothing. The knife takes... Uh, may, oh, maybe the big ring is just indicating where the knife dagger thingy is going to go. Okay. Uh-oh. I think it's time to use one of these. Okay. A yo-yo rack. You just throw out a yo-yo. There's really, I like, I don't know. How does the version scale exactly? Looks like number of yo-yos? Halo. Demon Wings is you leave a trail of, I don't know if you call them projectiles. It's kind of like you leave a trail of flames that hurts enemies that are following you, you know what I mean? It worked okay. Why don't we do Halo? I don't know. Uh, it doesn't... At first glance, it doesn't appear as though there's a limit to how many weapons you can have. Uh. So I'm not really sure. If there's, you know, like, long-term strategies like that to consider. Hmm. Afraid the core. So we get an extra bullet. Hmm. Good to show you all the weapons, maybe. It's really hard to tell here so far. I found that with these games that you kind of just got to play them. Like, studying the numbers super closely might not really help you much. You just got to play and eventually you figure out like, oh, okay, these are the things that work well. These are the things that don't work well, etc. Oh my gosh. We destroyed something. What is that? A magnet? Beautiful. Okay. Cool down. Maybe we just do the cool down. I mean, it's only 3%, but wait, how would that work with... Hmm. How does cool down work with, like, the rotating stuff and the laser while you're at it, right? Maybe not well, I would think. So I guess I'm just gonna go Ultra Buster there. I don't know about that size. Okay, I kind of want to get more chain belt stuff going on here. Ugh. Stay away. Trying to loop around and go back. All right, all right, all right. Ooh, I think we destroyed a crate. It has it had health in it. Oh no! Stop getting hit. Ooh, what's the telecom? 
It appears to be some kind of weapon. Hmm. Collision object weapon. If other object index... I don't know. I don't totally understand it. I feel like we're bound for death here soon, too. Maybe we should just check it out. The leg saw, it, it seems to just ran, maybe not randomly, but you just throw out a, a saw blade in a direction. I think it might correlate to where you're moving to and not where you're actually aiming. I've never tried this once, why don't we try it? I don't even know if I'll get to notice what it is. It's already pretty iffy because there's a lot of stuff surrounding us. All right, now where was that health? I have one more bomb. Just the health. I don't think this stuff despawns or anything. I think we're good from that angle. Oh no. Whoa! Barely got out of that. Alright, this is a big enemy. Big enemies drop things like health, potentially. Looks like we got a parasite on it, which is lucky. Now, I don't know if there was anything in there. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're okay. Okay, this is like a bomb, kind of? There we go. <laughs> I couldn't even uh, say it. We got the missile pack. It just shoots a missile out and homes in on an enemy. Engine increases your move speed. Sure, we'll take the missile. You can at least see that one. Oh my gosh. I just got the... Like that bomb, but I still can't. seem to escape our enemies here. Come on. Reduce the hit sound effect probably here. The nice thing is in the options. Oh, come on. That really got me. Maybe we just needed some move speed, you know? Weapon size, projectile speed. Game belt it is. All right. It's boss time. If I cannot take a hit and... Uh, and kill all these enemies. Will I survive this boss? Almost 100% no. Okay, whoa. Let's try to get all this XP here too. I have beaten this boss before. It's actually, I'd call it more straightforward, potentially even easier than the first. Maybe not necessarily easier, but more straightforward. But also more random, maybe. All right, we got a level right here. Ooh, what's this one? I haven't seen this. Never seen that one before. Creates a bouncy ball? Huh. Yeah, it's already confusing me. Is it, oh wait, is it kind of like What's that thing from Vampire Star? It might be kind of like the prism where it bounces off the edges of the screen. All right, we got ourselves a big snake boss here. Whoa, I'm expecting that. We kind of want to get close so that some of our close range stuff can hit. Whoa, I'm still one hit away, but we do have double halo charges up at least. I definitely have way more damage than the last time I was here, but. I don't know if it's really going to save us. Whoa, close encounter. Okay, so it starts to break up. Eventually, whoa. And then they explode with a death rattle after that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious me. <laughs> the panic was setting in. Okay, we're okay. Oh, I'm not okay. I'm okay. Holy cow. Oh, we were so close to winning. We were so close to winning, weren't we? Had the one health and everything. Got too crazy out there. 
All right. Well, let me. Okay. Before I forget, let me show you the meta currency because I tend to forget. It was a decent run. Oh, I didn't earn any points. I guess I didn't earn any points. But yeah, there are. There is a currency to spend, and there is a skill tree of some kind here. Uh, it's pretty straightforward here. So I have four skill points, and they're already spent. Uh, the first one you occasionally encounter an involved rainbow enemy with majorly increased HP, but capable of dropping goodies. Each time you pick up a magnet, you gain 1% XP pickup radius. Additionally, magnet pickups will trigger all other pickup types toward you. Defeating a powerful foe will make them drop 3 HP vials. Defeating a powerful foe will increase your life force by 10 permanently. I assume life force equals HP. But yeah, this is just an example of uh, the things that you can upgrade. And all of them are much more interesting than just, you know, plus health, plus damage, etc., etc. So I thought... I thought that was neat that they put a lot of thought into this, even if there's not a lot here, at least so far. But hey, let me know what y'all think. I, I think I had fun with it, you know, and I'd like to play more. It's one of those things like, you know, just one more run maybe real quick and we'll see how we do, you know, and hopefully get a lot further, et cetera, et cetera. Be you your dreams. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, you know the deal. All right, bye-bye now.